now, ladies and gentlemen, Rise of Champions number seven brings you more welterweight action. Huh? First, making his way down to the cage, presenting Aaron Ramos. <laughs> Ramos from the London Fight Factory, only one loss in the five. Brian, a very dangerous competitor. Uh, absolutely, I've watched a couple of his fights back. He's competed in boxing as, as well as MMA, and what I took from his striking in boxing, a very fluid jab, very laser-like, but in MMA, what he likes to do is strike to get that clinch to take it to the ground, and I saw him finish a head and arm triangle from the mount, which is difficult to do, but the control and pressure he has on top, as well as that striking, makes him what we are looking at now in this generation of fighters, a well-rounded mixed martial artist. And Nathaniel, as we've seen you rise to the very top, it's this sort of show that builds that momentum, isn't it? An incredible show like ROC. Definitely. Rock's a huge show that the semi-pro guys can, you know, showcase their skills. It's a great platform and there's a lot of shows out there at the moment which are very run down, no one's really looked <laughs> after and Rise of Champions is definitely one, you know, the guys are getting fair fights. And now, ladies and gentlemen, set to make his way down to the cage, presenting Alex Elsie. Alex Elsie has almost, well, he has over double the experience of his opponent. But Brian, it's a much more mixed bag. He had a decision win at ROC 6, which Luckily for him, ended a three-fight losing streak, but when he does win, he finishes. Uh, he certainly finishes, and, and he comes from a, a camp of finishes as well. You've got Brazilian top team in Cambridge, also the Tsunami gym over there with the likes of John Maguire, and then trains a lot of BJJ now at Impulse BJJ over in Peterborough. But what I liked about this young man is when I talked about fighting stars, sometimes you hear about strikers, boxing to wrestlers and uh, uh, jiu-jitsu players. This guy just says, I'm, I was systematically shut down. That's, that's his exact words, any of my opponents. And as he progresses through these amateur ranks, we're going to see him evolve with a skill set which will hopefully allow him to do that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Southern Territory and OfficialWatches.com bring you Rise of Champions number seven inside the cage tonight. Three, three minute rounds of amateur action in the welterweight division. We introduce first now the blue corner, standing at six feet three inches tall and weighed in at 170.9 pounds. As an amateur, three victories against a single draw. Representing London Fight Factory, fighting out of London, England, presenting Aaron Ramos. And across the cage's adversary in uh, the red corner, standing six feet three inches tall and weighed in at identical 170.9 pounds. His amateur record stands at seven victories against five defeats, representing Brazilian top team fighting out of Cambridge, presenting Alex Elsie. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Daniel Moberheady. We look at the two men, as you can see, vastly more experienced Alex, the younger of the two at 25, equal in height, both men at six foot three. Aaron Ramos, four years older. Here are images of themselves as they came out. You've got uh, both doing that little Muay Thai step as they come forward. Straight away, I can see that Aaron's been doing a lot of Muay Thai for this fight. <laughs> Definitely with that front leg, the way he was uh, bringing it up, ready to, ready to check the kicks. What goes through your mind, Nathan, when you're against someone like this and immediately you take that first Muay Thai kick, do you immediately think about adjusting your game plan? For me, I've always uh, enjoyed and preferred to strike with my opponents. Um, but, you know, what you've got to watch out for is that if you get too stubborn and you just kind of do this trade kick for kick, there could be a guy waiting to take you down. And Brian, <laughs> talking about taking down, Alex Elsie's in trouble here. Yeah, Aaron Ramos caught the uh, caught the leg and then just literally held it high and, and 
took um, Alex off balance. And from there, there was a great scramble on the ground. I actually thought, because of Alex's uh, jiu-jitsu background, that might end up worse for Aaron. But Aaron moved beautifully to the back and now to sort of a side mount. And Nathaniel, you said about working the Muay Thai for Aaron. That's typical, the grabbing the leg, walking your man to take him down. That's a Muay Thai technique through and through. And now he's flattened Alex out. These are dangerous times for him. Definitely, and it doesn't look like that Alex is doing much here, so it could get stopped in this position. I'd, I'd definitely like to see Aaron throw more ground and pound to, you know, really try and put a stop to this fight. Once that mother head is calling for more action, and, and that's it. Caught the kick, took him to the cage on the ground, and again, we'll get a look at the scramble. You can talk us through the transitions within that as, as they show the replay. But I thought that would be more beneficial to Alex. But then Aaron Ramos reacted better, took the back from there, opened up the strikes, and impressive performance from that young and man. Nathaniel, as you said, defensively, there wasn't much immediately coming from Alex. He had the one arm beside the head, but he didn't seem to work at anything else. No, in their positions like that, you, you can't afford to stay there and hang out. You know, you've got to be scrambling and looking to get up. But, you know, obviously Aaron done very well, and he looked like he came in there with the right game plan. Talk us through this. This is where he caught the kick. So that's exactly what I said. When you play kick for kick, you know, it only takes one guy to decide to, to change that. And obviously, you know, uh, Aaron, Aaron here spun that around and decided to take, take it to the floor here. Brian, Alex seemed disorientated with that flip when he went over on his back and he never seemed to recover from that. And as we said, there's no defense realistically from this is a good call from Dan Mavahedi. It's a great call. I think because it happened so early in the round, you see Aaron is still full of power and he was showing that. And even though they're catching the gloves, those amateur gloves, still causing a lot of pain. You can see there's what that exactly meant to Aaron Ramos. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee called a stoppage to this bout. One minute, 33 seconds into the first round. Declaring your winner by TKO with ground and pound in the blue corner, Aaron Ramos. And show some love for Alex Elsie.